But what our lab is about is doing high-speed observations of very small particles, such as nanoparticles, for example. Uh, right? So over the years, people have developed a number of ways to obtain structures of proteins. Um, one of these techniques is, is cryo-electron microscopy. Simple terms how this works is you take a, a very um, thin film of water with your proteins in it, um, and you plunge this, this sample into a, a cryogen. Um, and so this way, you, you freeze your sample very rapidly, and now this allows you to load the sample into transmission electron microscope and record images of your protein. If you can obtain the structure of a protein, you, you already know an awful lot about the protein, right? If you, if you look at a structure, you can already deduce, in many cases, what the protein will do and how it might work. But you're still missing essential information. What you'd really like to do is you'd like to get sort of a movie of the protein as it fulfills its function, right? Um, and and the, issue, the issue with this is that these proteins move very, very fast. So typical time scales are on the order of microseconds. So what we're trying to do in our lab is we're trying to develop new methods. So what you see behind me is the transmission electron microscope that we're working with. Now this is an instrument that we've modified to do these time result experiments. Essentially we shoot a laser into the microscope at our sample while we're studying it. What the laser does is it, for a very brief moment in time, melts our cryo sample so that the protein finds itself in liquid where it can now undergo some dynamics. And as these dynamics unfold, as the protein um, goes through some motions, we switch off the laser that keeps the sample liquid, and then the sample recools very, very rapidly and traps the protein in its transient state that it's in at that point in time. And then later on, we can record an image of this transient state. Right. The, the idea seems a little bit insane to, to melt a cryo sample and then hope that it recools very rapidly. So we've been, we've been able to show that this is actually possible. We've done proof of principle experiments that show the, the entire technique works. Um, and we've shown that proteins, if you put them through this process, they're perfectly happy. They retain their structure. Um, now, of course, the next step is to actually look at a biologically relevant process, um, trigger this in the microscope, um, and then see how a protein undergoes a naturally occurring process and image this you know, at high time resolution.